Well, I've been asked to present uh, an example of the, capi cap of the captain capitalization, starting from the output uh, made and presented during the um, Israeli activities. In this case, I, as uh, Massimiliano said, it was uh, focused on the demand for specific services for, from passengers with special needs. Uh, passenger with special needs, what we intend, to, just to be clear, uh, we intend all the different social categories, that means mainly, mainly disabled persons, so pe people having impairments, physical, mental, and so on, but also we, we thought that uh, this to be considered other uh, mm, social categories that uh, maybe have uh, a minor impact, but uh, even so that uh, uh, have to be considered in, uh, in, in, in the overall concept of traffic of person and of passenger as are elderly people, uh, minor unaccompanied uh, pregnant women. So we have to uh, see it in a wider, in a wider view. Why such a topic? What uh, the interest for such a topic emerged during the discussion uh, in the two years, two and a half years of uh, easy way activities among different partners, uh, and uh, especially among uh, partners belonging to port authorities. That led to uh, an agreement signed by eight Easyway partners, uh, of which seven are port authorities of the, of the Adriatic Union area. Uh, we have to understand that uh, in, uh, let just let's consider the last decades, the last 10, 20, 20 in, uh, years, we uh, evidenced uh, huge uh, demographic changes uh, relevant uh, changes in behavior of the population and of the travelers that led with a greater demand for service in in uh, in, uh, in travels. Just to, to to give you a rough data, rough picture. Uh, last 10, 12 years, we have an increase of over 60 percent of tourists global. Let so and, uh, the, the increase is similar even at, at, the, at, the, at the continental EU, EU level. So it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's an increase that has to be considered. In this phenomenon, we have to put the interest and the demand of the disabled people that have specific needs when they uh, decide to travel, needs starting from uh, a specific information, then quindi before the journey, a specific assistance during the journey. Uh, we can say that uh, from uh, Eurostat estimates, uh, we have uh, more than 40 millions of disabled people in Europe considering different disabilities and different level of disabilities. So it's a very, very huge number, but very, very large figure. That it, it, it's even larger if we take just for a moment into consideration the increased demand for travel from elderly people. So it's, uh, it's, it's a phenomenon that's uh, that is very, very, very important. Yesterday, <coughs> emerged a single data, so in, uh, informally speaking, I've been told that uh, presently, uh, between eight and 10% of cruisers that embark in, in Venice are disabled people. Between eight and 10% of travelers, of crew. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a relevant data. Uh, so now I, I, th I thought to give you some uh, flashes of the study I, I made. 
just explain. <clears throat> the activity was split into before uh, a sort of preparatory study um, that uh, intended to give a picture of the state of the art of the, of the situation of this kind of specific demand. Uh, we, uh, we've been supported by a survey uh, to which contributed uh, a relevant part of Adriatic Union ports. And we uh, gave a, a specific attention to the EU legal framework that uh, is most re uh, recent and is very, very attentive for such a problem. Starting from, I, I repeat, it's, these are some just flashes, some outlines of the study, so just to, to make clear some, some, some aspects. Uh, ah, yes, sorry. Uh, uh, beside the study, the, uh, I said the activity has split into the, the study and the training mm, that has been, as, as, as Massimiliano said yesterday. Uh, the training was uh, dedicated was uh, to the port operators and managers of the of the area. Uh, we tried to to organize um, the training both with present people in the hall. Uh, we had uh, streaming, so uh, other other person had the, the opportunity to listen and to participate online, and the same uh, <coughs> this, uh, and the same we decided to to record all the video and to upload it, them on uh, on YouTube, so you are you can freely watch them when and if you want. Uh, and the uh, last thing about the, um, the training, we choose to focus mainly on the awareness aspect of the training. That is to, uh, to better help uh, operators to face with uh, uh, people having impact, such disabilities and to, to help, to help the, uh, operators to understand the needs and uh, to uh, better understand how to approach such uh, needs. Well, about the study, uh, first of all, I, I've, I, I wanted to clear absolutely what uh, the EU Commission uh, Disability strategy has as objective, referring to the uh, people with special needs right protection, and uh, with uh, objective and and, and, uh, and action in uh, eight specific priority areas. That is accessibility, participation, equality, employment, education and training, social protection. Health and external action. I just quoted the list that uh, uh, areas. I won't uh, go in uh, in depth uh, with, as I have very few time to. Barrier to travel. That another <coughs> concept to be to to be cleared. I I found a, a definition of the barrier to travel. Just to quote that, that uh, barrier to travel has been interpreted considered, interpreted as an impediment encountered while participating or attempting to, particip to participate in a tourist experience, which are main barriers. We can consider physical barriers, that means like architectural barriers, uh, example, a step, uh, uh, na narrow, uh, star, uh, again, waste, uh, so difficulties to embark and so on. We have communication barriers, so the, the communication of, of simple information for specific uh, cases, barrier made by procedure and organization, and even still present, presents barrier determined by, manage, by management behavior. In, in this, uh, I consider all the public attitude because uh, still most of us consider person having uh, impairments as a particular person not uh, considered that it's a, 
it's a, it's a normal person that has just some problems that can be physical or 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 other kind of problems but we can, we can consider it a different person though it's 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 a, it's a ter terrific error to doing so <coughs> i put at the beginning some final consideration of the study in which we try to identify uh, some uh, needed intervention to ameliorate the, uh, the service uh, put at the disposal of such, tra of such uh, travelers. That means uh, such uh, need uh, can be quoted as the, the accessibility to port uh, building and infrastructure to permit a smooth, safe, and secure access and use of maritime passenger transport services. Then the traveler's information, eliminating barriers, hindering the free mobility of passenger having impairments. As the information charge uh, st uh, change starts b before the travel, as the per uh, such tra uh, uh, travels had to be informed with have special requirements, and then we need also to so to 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 have to to made uh, we have to 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 define a specific support informative support then uh, another need is the staff training on disability to correctly and effectively interface with passengers with disability and reduce mobility uh, operating personnel uh, by operating personnel, I, as I already said, uh, all the port operators, managers, of course, at different level, because there are from, uh, so operators are frontliners that deal directly with, uh, with, with, uh, with such uh, kind of travelers. Other operators and or port managers, of, of course, they do not directly operate to uh, deal with, uh, with the, these towers, but it's important uh, even for them to have uh, a knowledge, a basic knowledge and, and then awareness of the, of the problem. So uh, a brief, very, very brief presentation of the legal framework. Uh, the white paper introduced the passenger protection measures for all mode of transport. It means for all kinds of for all kinds of, uh, of, of passenger. Uh, it's the, it's this, the only region in the world that at presently cover passenger rights for all the modal transport, uh, granting specific rights as well as for, as in, uh, for, for disabled person, we have specific uh, conditions. We have mainly three uh, key prin uh, principles, non-discrimination, accurate and then accessible information, and uh, immediate and propor uh, proportionate assistance. Besides this, we have 10 basic rights. We have listed here, uh, I, I put just in red the second one, uh, that it, that's the access and assistance for the disabled person and passenger with this mobility. So just to, to make more evident the relevance given to such right to be satisfied. Uh, yes, just a couple minutes. Within the legal framework, we have a specific regulation for the uh, passenger that travel by sea. It's the regulation uh, 11, uh, 1177, 2010. So you can just see the, 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 the right that each traveler that choose the maritime solution has. Within this regulation, what is for us interesting are Article 7 from 15 that specifically for CA non-discriminatory treatment and specific assistance for travel with uh, specific for travel with specific needs or for disabled travel, an assistance that has to be free of charge. The, these uh, articles 
foreseen uh, now a right to access to transport, to transport, right to special assistance, and right to compensation. The uh, article 14, it's the, the, the last thing I'll, I'll, I'll say now, indicates specifically the needs, the, pro the proposal to better uh, train port operators and uh, in, the, in the regulation annex, uh, annex 4, we have specifically indicated the area in which such training uh, uh, should be provided. That means the, disab in the disability awareness and the disability assistant. So these are the two indications given by the EU regulation. That's all, thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Alta, for this. Uh... Thank sure.